Kamsu. I need you to talk to me. You know you can talk to me. I am here to listen to you. Whatever we discuss in here remains private. So is there anything you need to tell me? They said a problem shared is half solved. I know you have a problem, but no one seems to understand you, not even your parents. But I assure you, I'll try my best to understand you. So tell me whenever you're ready. I know for the fact that our parents do not understand us. I was once your age, and I can tell you perfectly well what you're going through. Most of the times, we rather bottle them up all than to speak, so that we will not be judged nor condemned. But come so, I am not here to judge nor condemn you. Whatever we discuss in here remains confidential. Trust me, not even your parents will know about it. Tell me what is bothering you. I'm in love with my dad. So, how was your night? So, how are you feeling today? I am ready whenever you're ready. I love my dad. Is it wrong? Aren't I supposed to love him? I, I mean, he's my dad. You said that during our last section. But can I ask you this? Do you think anyone is against you loving your dad? It's just crazy and I don't get it. What is crazy, Kamso? The way everyone is reacting. He is my dad. And you think everyone's reaction to it is weird? Just because you love your dad the same way every other daughter should love their dad? Do you want to start from the beginning? I remember being very close to my dad at a very young age. My mom said I would never let anyone carry me, 
including her, except my dad. But I only became aware of this at, I think, age 10. You have to hurry, okay? So we let us go. What's wrong? I want to follow Daddy to the office. And why is that? I just want to follow you. My friend, will you hurry up with your breakfast so I can drop you off at school? When did you start all this? Oh, come on. Come down, Daddy. My angel, you need to go to school, okay? Any day you won't be going to school, I will take you along as I go to my office. Alright? Honey, you need to hurry up to the office. You're going to be late. I can't deal with your daddy-daughter drama today. I have a lot of things to do. Yes, I understand you're just trying to be jealous. It's, it's natural. It's okay. But don't worry. And sweetie, everything I told you, I meant it. Okay? On my way back from office, I'll buy you chocolate. I'll buy you lollipop. I'll buy you cake. I know you like cake. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm, my darling. Bye, sweetheart. Mm, love you, birds. Love you too. Because the day will come when mommy not, will not be there to do the cooking, you will prepare food for me. Or oh, don't you want to cook for daddy? You want to cook for me, right? I said, good, so be a good girl. You go to the kitchen and help mommy to prepare food for us, okay? Good girl. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Why don't we go to the kitchen and prepare the food together? Yes! <laughs> shouting your name. I didn't hear you. Sorry. How will you hear? How will you hear when you've locked yourself out of reality with this rubbish in your ears? See, why do you young lady like hurting yourselves? 
Why? Don't you know this thing could deter your listening ability? Not if it's not loud enough. See. Come on. Mm. <laughs> See? Mm? It's not loud enough. And besides, it's not just any type of song. It's yours and mom's favorite song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the song too. Mm -hmm. See what you're enjoying. <laughs> What's going on here? Teaching that how to use modern day technology. Are you done with the dishes? Almost. And I've been yelling your name for like ages. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't hear. How would you hear? When you've turned this kitchen into a disco hall? My friend, will you switch off that thing and hurry up with the dishes? Oh, darling, you're here? Until the day that will be you. Leaving me for real. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. All right, darling. All right, take care of yourself, eh? Sweetie, how are you guys? Are you missing me? Guys, just sit. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Just sit. What in heaven's name was going on out there? Nothing, mom. They're my friends. Your friends? Yes, mom. And you people have turned the house into a disco hall? No, mom. We're just playing music. Music? Do you know where I hear the sound from? Is this what you do when you're home alone? No, mom. They're both my friends from school. I don't want to hear it. Just go out there and clear everything up. Okay, I'll ask him to help me clean up. Clean up! I don't want to see either of them when I come out there. Mom, you want me to ask them to leave? Yes. And that's your punishment for turning my house upside down. Please. Don't. Just go out there and when you're done, come and clear this thing up so we can... Prepare for your dad's dinner. Honey? Delicious. What's going on? It's your favorite. Oh, really? Council helps in, helps in preparing it. Hmm, I guessed as much. I knew my angel must have something to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Sweethearts, why yeah. don't you just join us and eat, okay? That I'm more hungry. Is she okay? Don't mind her. I came home and met the house in disarray. Loud music playing, two other people, a boy and a girl, including Kamso, dancing in the living room. So why is she upset and refusing to eat? She's upset simply because I asked her to tell them to leave. Arrange the house and join me in preparing your meal. Don't worry, she will eat when she's hungry.
with it. These are kids, okay? Were you harsh when you were talking to her? She will be fine. It's almost 9 p.m. and you've not eaten your dinner. What is the problem? I said I wasn't hungry. Come on, my love. You know Daddy does not like to see you in this kind of mood. Talk to me. What is going on? Oh, is it because your mom asked your friends to leave the house? Talk to me, Angel, please. I don't get it. I just don't get it. She's always shouting at me for no reason. Sometimes it makes me think that she hates me. Don't you ever say that. Your mom can never hate you. I mean, no parents hate their child. Not talk of a mother. You are all she's got. In fact, you are all we've got. And we owe you to give you the best. She's just trying to make sure that you're on the right track. I mean, she's trying to instill some values in you. Values you understand and appreciate later when you grow older. Dad, why does she have to be so mean about it? Oh, come on, dear. Don't take that to heart, okay? Your mommy loves you. She adores you. In fact, she has already set the table for you. Because she knows you'll be hungry sooner or later. I'm not hungry. Oh, come on. Don't give me that attitude. Because I know my angel. My angel is not a stubborn child. Because I raised her. Oh, is she a stubborn child? Of course not. That's the spirit. Oh yeah. Get up. Go have your dinner so mom and I can sleep peacefully. Okay? Okay. I'll be out in a few minutes. It's alright, darling. I love you so much, darling. I love you more, dad. Good. Wait, do you actually think I cannot handle my daughter? Honey, that is not what I said. I mean, how could I say a thing like that? I have not said you cannot handle anything. All I'm saying is that you should calm down when you're dealing with our daughter, Kamso. You see, that girl has a feeling you don't like her, and that's not good. I'm only saying this out of concern. Well, your concerns makes me feel like a failure. Let us not start this fight this morning, please. What I just said is not enough for you to get worked up. It's not enough for me to get worked up. How do you think I cannot handle my family? Damn it, Adam. I can handle my family. I can handle my daughter. I can handle whatever I choose to. Do you hear me? There's bread in the fridge. You can make breakfast for your dad. See you when I get back.
Dad? Sweetheart, is the breakfast ready yet? Not yet. Dad? Yes, darling. What were you and Mom arguing about? Nothing too serious. It sounded serious to Mom. She didn't even make breakfast before leaving for work. She did not? Daddy, what's going on? Well, sweetie, like I told you, it is nothing so serious. I mean, it's nothing too much for your mom and I to handle. And do me a favor. Sure. Good. We'll make some tea, put in the flask, and wrap up some bread for me. I will take it to her office on my way out, okay? Good. Go. I'm running late, please. What's going on? I had argument. Are you and mom at it again? At what? Dad, please, don't start. I clearly heard the both of you arguing. Come on, sit down, please. Come. My angel, your mom and I had a little argument, but we are good now, okay? You're okay. Then why are you sleeping on the couch? Because she needs some space. But not to worry, I, I will soon join her, okay? Okay. Good. So, why are you not asleep? I was, until your voices woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry, okay? Mm -hmm. You can't go back to bed now. No, not feeling sleepy anymore. And besides, I'm not satisfied with the response you're giving me either. It's okay. Don't worry, we'll be fine, okay? Come. Always shine. You too, my darling. I love this place. This Thanks. place is becoming beautiful by the day. Thank you. What will I do? I just spent some little money here to make it look good for people like you. You're making money too. Why would I? <laughs> so good to see you. How have you been? I'm fine. How is Council and Adam? They are doing good, but annoying me as usual. No wonder you ran away from home. You don't understand. I just needed to let out a little steam. I am dying, my dear. Adams doesn't let me discipline my daughter. And Council is getting spoiled by the day. I don't know what to do. Council is very stubborn. You see me as a strict mother, right? But my strictness does not affect Council one bit. My friend. You know you are very, very strict. Are you trying to take their side or something? No, 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 no. Ah, but how about my friend? I came no, here to talk to you. Don't even <laughs> think of taking their side because... <laughs> no, I'm not taking their side, but you know you're very, very strict. You know that. I'm just joking. Council needs that. It's just a joke. It's just a joke, my friend. But the truth of the matter is, I believe with time, Council will change. You understand? I pray so. She will change the setting. I'm very, very sure of that. And you should also pray about it. You know. Pray Trust me, I it. am. Oh, Daddy. Oh, sweetheart. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, my love. <laughs> oh. Are those flowers? Oh, yes. And they're for your mom. Is she back yet? No, she's not. What? Do you think 
She would like them. What do you have to say? Let me see. Hmm, they do smell nice. And this is so sweet of you that I bet one cent at this and she'll forget whatever you guys were arguing about. Oh, really? Mm hmm You're so romantic, Dad. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, thanks for the compliment. So, uh, you know what? What? Why don't we go prepare dinner together before your mom comes back? Okay. I don't get the both of you. One minute you're arguing and then the next you're all lovey-dovey. Well, you especially are all lovey-dovey. It's so confusing. Come here. What don't you understand? I mean, what is confusing about loving your family? You see, people disagree to agree. Mm, sure. It's a circle. I loved your mom when I married her. And I still love her even more. Huh. Okay? So about the cooking, what do you think? Oh, okay. Let me take your file in your room first. Oh, no, don't worry. After all, I'm going into change. Oh. Okay. So you go to the kitchen, prepare all the ingredients, get them ready while I change and join you. Okay. Now go. I'll come after you. Okay. <laughs> Lazy man, you're just a lazy man. Ah. I swear. Good boy, now I'm 
You just lazy, man. Please. But you're trying. You do workouts for hours, don't stop. Well, it's all about practice and discipline. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, that's why you're looking so fit and nothing like your age. Why the likes of us are gray, growing gray hair already. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the idea behind the whole exercise thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Guy, uh, you're done. Let's get some drinks. Drink? Yes. After all this exercise, want to drink? No, what I want is just water. I'm fine. <laughs> water? Yes. With all these things that will burn out, what I need now is a chill drink. Uh, Please, if you're game. <laughs> you know what? I know where you're coming from. Uh, you know, I was told that your grandfather is a renowned power top in your village. <laughs> <laughs> so you came from descendants of drunkards. Please, go ahead. I want to test that one. <laughs> Hey, 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 come back here. Why are you in so much hurry to? I need to go with Dad to the mall. He promised to get me that iPad today, and I don't want him giving me excuses like the last time. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey. So, you finally getting her the iPad? Oh, why not? Don't you think it's long overdue? At least let me have peace of mind in this house. This girl has always been hounding me like her life depends on the iPad. I know. I know you promised to get her one. But my worries are this may add to her distractions. I'm already finding it difficult getting her con to concentrate once she's with her phone and without her music ear thing in her ear. And now you want to add a pad or whatever that is to it. <laughs> so, you see, I was thinking I am the one who is technologically backwarded here. But it seems I'm better than you. That thing is called an iPad, not a pad. Whatever. Make sure you get her back home on time. Of course, of course. Ready, Dad? Oh, sweetie, you yeah. good? You ready? Let's finish on the road. Make sure you get everything on this list in case your dad forgets. Mom, who's going to pay all these? Who else? But mom. Don't but mom me. Make sure you get everything on that list and come back home on time. Sweetheart, you have to calm down. Talking to this young girl. She's only a baby. You're spoiling her. I am not. I'm doing the best I can as a father. Besides, she's our only daughter. Okay? So when you talk to our only daughter, you calm down. She's just an angel, very adorable. Oh, don't worry, I'll see you when I go back. My younger sister's um, friend, right? Dominic. Oh my god, Damilola de Bayer's elder sister. Um, to see me, right? You're very right. Ah, you look good. It's been a long time. Yes, you did. You look good too. Thank so, how you. Have you been? I've been good. Ah, you're very good. Thank you. So, tell me, how about your cute dad? It's fine. The truth is, if he was my dad, people would have had a hard time knowing that. Oh, really? Yeah. I hardly believe he's even married, talking about having a grown-up like you. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, please, do me well to say hi to him, okay? Sure. Yeah. Take very good care of yourself. And you too. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And what exactly do you think happened in that moment? Come so. Are you with me? What do you think happened in that moment? 
Simi made me become aware of my dad as a man. How about your cute dad? It's fine. The truth is, if he was my dad, people would have had a hard time knowing that. Oh, really? Yeah. I hardly believe he's even married for more of having a grown-up like you. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, please, do me well to say hi to him, okay? to ask you a question. Mm. With all these drinks you are filling your stomach with, are you sure you're going to eat at home when you get home tonight? Why wouldn't I? And no, it's not like it's a big deal. Mm. My wife won't mind. Oh really? Yeah. Because your wife doesn't complain, you have to kill yourself. <laughs> well, I only advise you as my friend, if you don't mm. curtail what you eat, this your pot belly will never go down. And who told you? I want to tell what I eat. <laughs> You're the one complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> See, I've come to accept this just the way it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you've been drinking more since we came here. Oh, oh, excuse me, hold it there. If this is what you call relaxation, my brother, I'm fine with my malts. See, let me tell you. This life is so short. Try and enjoy it, even if it's for once. Eat something. Do something. How can you be drinking malt? Uh, 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 as if you would need sugar. In short, I'm dieting. Let's, let's. Hey, waiter! Please bring me two bottles of life. Let, let's start from there. For who? For you. For, no, uh, for you yourself. will start today. Okay, 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 okay. I you know you. why I order life. <laughs> Because my, you think my life is finished. <laughs> <laughs>
time. She's 11 there about. She's your first daughter, right? Yeah. What is your relationship with her like? Normal father-daughter relationship. Why are you asking this question? Is there anything the matter? Are you having problems with cancer? Uh, not really. Uh, never mind. No way. No way. No, come on, bro. Hey, if there's anything, why not? Let's talk about it. No, it's not a serious no worry. Uh, okay. Are you, gonna, are you gonna do one more round with me? That's great. I think this is my last. <laughs> uh, come on, that lesson this night again. I will support you. Let me just watch. <laughs> Why don't you go and join the snack team? So that <laughs> I think that's where you belong. Oh yeah, come on. Go Adam. Go Adam. Go Adam. Go Adam. <laughs> So, what are you doing? Please, honey, talk to me. What's going on? You've been like this for more than one hour. What's going on? Kamsi. What is wrong with Kamsi? Kamsi needs help. What is wrong with her? Kamsi, Kamsi needs help. Yeah, you said that before. Kamsi has gone out of her mind. What has she done? Kamsi told me. I, God, how do, I, how do I say this? How, is, is this possible? Kamsi said she's in love with me. Can you imagine? 
understand. And what? Is that not bad enough? I don't understand. Our daughter needs help simply because she told the father she loves him. That's not what I said. No, no, you don't get it. Okay. I said, Kamsi says she is in love with me. Get the difference. I did not say Kamsi says she loves me. I said Kamsi said she is in love with me. Can you imagine that kind of madness? Is it possible? Are you sure that's what she meant? I, I mean, don't you think it's a mistake or something? I felt the same way. I thought maybe I didn't hear correctly. Until I was coming out from the bedroom, I caught Kamsu in my room sniffing my shirt. Doing what? You don't get it! I... I, this is unbelievable. I don't understand. This is unbelievable. No, no, no. I'm so? Honey, calm down. Calm down, please. Honey, please, this is not, this is not the time to scold her or, or beat her up or punish her. She is our daughter. She needs help. This is the time we need to render her help. Kamso is our only daughter. This is not the time to shout at her or beat her up or scold her. Okay? We need to, we need to get her to talk to somebody. Maybe a pastor or... Oh, or, or a psychiatrist or, or, a, or a psychologist or something. But either way, she needs help. We need to help her. We need. Oh God. Hi. This is not happening, God. I guess that's why I'm here. You still have those same feelings for him? I mean your dad. Yes. Even stronger. Kamsu, what exactly do you want? I want him to love. Not just like a daughter, but much, much more. I want him to be with me and me alone. What about your mom? What would happen to her? I don't care. I don't care. She's had him ever since I was born. And she doesn't deserve him. My dad is the nicest man you can ever meet. He's cool, he's kind, he's gentle. And he deserves somebody who appreciates him the way he does. And you think you're the right person to give it to him? Of course. What other options do we have? Letting her date other guys to distract her from you. You think it's the best? What if they use and dump her? I thought so too. Oh God. So you think the best option is to send her out of this country to a far place where she will not have access to me? Don't you? I don't know what to think. I am confused. How did this thing even get to this level that I did not notice? No, honey. You loved her like your daughter. It's only unfortunate she took it the wrong way. I will miss her. I will miss her too. But it's all for the best. Hopefully this all boils down with time. 
God. This is so hard. Did the psychologist recommend you something too? Well, if you guys think this is the best option, then I don't have a choice. How is she doing? I mean, come see. She hasn't said anything to me since she finished her therapy. Oh. Poor child. I feel for her. Okay. I will make the necessary preparations and arrangements. Honey, this is so hard for me to do. Me too. I don't have a choice. <sighs> yeah, the appropriate term used for her condition Seeing that you've not actually consummated anything with her would be OCD. Yeah, and OCD is an acronym for obsessive and compulsive disorder. It is common chronic and long-lasting disorder in which a person has uncontrollable and reoccurring thoughts or obsession and behavior. Composure that he or she feels the urge to do over and over. Well, but in Kamsi's case, it is forbidden thoughts and relation involving sex. Yeah, I have a friend of mine that stays in the States. I will just call her and refer Kamsi to her. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Please, please don't do this to me. Don't send me away from you, please. I won't survive it. Kamsa, this is the best we can do. It's the best for you. See, we've tried all we could, but it's not working. As difficult as it is for me, I don't have a choice. You can't be nursing this kind of feelings for me. I'm your father. It is, it is a taboo in our society. <laughs> Let's live our lives outside where nobody knows us. Please, Dad. Please. Are you listening to yourself? This is all your plan. Now you want to continue to maltreat him like you've always been doing. I just want to love him. I just want to love him. Is that too much to ask? Is it? It's not too much, my love. <laughs> but the kind of love you have for him, it's wrong. Can't you understand? I only understand that you all don't care about me. You all claim you care about me, yet you want to separate me from the man I love? You all hate me. You don't even... You don't love me! This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Tell me about it.
I'm sorry, it was a slip of hand. Sweetie, I just can't understand what you mean. Eh? What are you up to? Since we got married, you've always denied me of my conjugal rights. How can we be our children? Sex without love is nothing. I don't understand what you mean. Can we just talk about this much later, please? I'm trying to sleep. You are awake? Uh, yeah. Um, tea is served. Tea? Tea? Shall I serve you? Sorry about last night. You don't need to bother yourself about that. I am your husband. I can understand. And you know your husband loves you very well. And I'm ready and willing to do anything for you just to make you happy. Hmm? You should try and love your husband the same way your husband loves you. But if you say you don't love me, or if you feel you don't love me, just spell it out. And I'll let you be. I'm sorry. thinking in the right direction. Is there any possibility that my wife is having an affair with her father? It's not possible. It just can't be possible. What is happening in my marriage? is actually happening in my marriage. Does it mean that my wife is a 
lesbian? Can she possibly be a lesbian? I have not seen traces of such. I have not seen traces of such. Ask me, do I know who is a lesbian? It's not written on the forehead. How will I know? Now, things are not just right. She is cheating on me. She is practically cheating on me. She is cheating on me. I don't need anybody to tell me that. This is for who? I'm asking you. Who owns this? So what is the square meter? 150. That's okay, that's okay. And uh, how much are they offering? That's too much. I can offer six million. Well, I I'll call you back. Honey? Don't tell me you have forgotten. Eh? I know that this belongs to me, so, but wait a minute, where are you off to? Forgotten about what? Uh, okay, you want to surprise me. <laughs> so let me have it. I know it's mine. What, this? Yeah. No, it's for my dad. Today is his birthday and I want to surprise him. This is for your dad, and today is your dad's birthday. Have you forgotten that today is my birthday too? It is. Happy birthday. Um, I'm sorry I forgot, but I'll definitely buy your gifts later, okay? But right now there is rice in the fridge and you can warm it till I get back. You must be silly. Telling me that you can't remember that today is my birthday and you're standing before me saying this? Of course. 
Hold on. Who did you say you are giving this to? I mean, who is this for? So, come so. Who is this for? Answer me, who are you giving this to? Answer me! I am not getting my point. Listen, my birthday happens to be the same birth date with my wife's father. Yes. Now, my wife packaged a set of boxer shorts and condom as a gift for her father on his birthday. I just can't understand such. How is it possible that the father will accept or even receive such as a birthday gift from his own daughter? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm really sorry. She did what? You seem not to get my point. Did her father ask her to get condom for him or something else? I don't get it. Yes. Now you are talking. Listen, it's not just that she packaged the, the boxer shirt and the condom for the father. She even neglected my own very big day. She did not give me any treat as the husband. Nothing, not even a gift. I am suspecting that somebody somewhere is eating my cake and i am yet to know who that person is but i will definitely find out who that person is no no no, no. come on he hasn't gotten to that okay i mean remember your promise whatever we make on the altar for better for us the advice i'll give as a friend now is to calm down okay just don't rush it just take your time, investigate over this because this is getting serious. Don't just jump into conclusion. For sure, trust me. I'll do that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Just take, take it easy, take it easy. Don't do anything funny, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm capable of doing. Sure, I will definitely get to the person. Yeah. It's all right. getting out of hand. This is becoming very serious. And I don't expect you to sit down and relax. You have to take a step. Do something about it. What I really can't understand is, is it possible that a father could be having an affair with his own daughter? I really can't understand it. I am beginning to understand that. There is something about my wife that I am yet to know. I'm suspecting that she is having an affair with somebody I don't know. Because I can't believe that she has something to do with the father. It's impossible. When are you going to wake up and realize that we are the kind of age we are living in now? Then anything is possible this time around. Anything. <sighs> The only thing I can advise you as a friend now is to stop. Just stop. 
wondering. Because, you know, sitting here, complain every day will not do any good for you. Take a step. I suggest you should take her to a psychiatrist or to a pastor. Yes. Don't just sit down and complain. Why should I take her to a pastor? How can you believe that somebody will have something to do with the father? Is it possible? If such things happen, don't you know what it is? Of course. If what we are suspecting is true, that is insane. Insanity. Thank God you know that. Insanity. That's what it is. No, but I, I've said it all. You see, that's my problem with uh, getting married to all these young girls. I don't even understand what home is all about. That's my problem. Anyway, let me go. So this is what I've been passing through since we got married, Oma. It's not been easy. I can't bear it anymore. I just can't bear it anymore. I have thought of divorce. But I said, let me just take this last chance. I want you to come and see us in Lagos from Abuja. I want you to come and cancel her. Yes. Let me see if there will be changes. It's all right. So when am I expecting you? Good, good. Thank you so much. So how is Abuja? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Thanks for your understanding. It's okay. I'll be expecting you. And I was, honey, I was waiting for us to have tea together. Really? You've been waiting for us to have tea together. Yeah. But you've served yours. Did you serve mine? I believe you would have loved to serve the person you share your heart with, isn't it? The person you love. That's the person you would have loved to serve your breakfast. expecting you this soon. I want to take you by surprise. So where is my lovely wife? You know I've not seen her since you got married. You're welcome. You <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Sweetheart. Sweetie. So, how is Johnny? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Cancel!
comes to Adams. Kamso is the daughter of Mr. Adams. The truth remains that she's in love with her father. What? I was a counselor years back in my profession. I have never seen a case as difficult as Kamso's own. So I referred her to my senior colleague at the U.S. Thinking that by staying away from her father, she would get over it. This is unbelievable. This is ridiculous. Now it's getting clearer. So this is the reason behind the gift she sent to her father. A gift? So I've been living in darkness. Roland, I am so sorry. I wanted to get over it before I tell you I'm sorry. Can you just hear yourself? Keep that to yourself and get out of my sight now. Get out of my sight! I understand how you feel right now, but you have to take it easy on her. talk with your husband. I believe there should be a way out. A way out. And this is your way out. Everything is no longer okay because you have let the cat out of the cage. Just, just let me go. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Where are you going to? Don't worry. Let me talk with him, okay? Just calm down. It's not crying. It's okay.
Look, Rolly, you have to take things easy with her. If truly you love her as your wife, this is the time to stand by her. Show her you are the man by winning her love. I have this feeling that it is not ordinary. I will have to talk to my pastor to come here tomorrow before I leave for Abuja. She must leave. I have spoken to my lawyer. He will be coming with the divorce papers. She will not leave. Listen, marriage is not a bed of rules. This is what you get when an elderly man marries a little girl. It is hard to fall in love. Pastor, come so here is the daughter of Mr. Adams. Okay. The truth remains that she's in love with her father. I was a counselor years back in my profession. I have never seen a case as difficult as hers. So I referred her to my senior colleague at the US, thinking that staying away from her father, she would get over it. To my greatest surprise, she's the wife of my cousin here. <laughs> It's not her fault, my sister. In fact, as you were talking to me, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. <laughs> but don't worry. Let's talk to God in prayer. It is well. Pastor, it is not well, though. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We bless your name for this not like you. We exalt your name for this gathering. And we we'll say, receive all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive all the honor duration in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Pastor, is that all? <laughs> it's not all, my dear. In fact, the Holy Spirit ministered to me again. So we should observe 21 days fasting and pray. <laughs> no. You cannot challenge God. I command you to hear the word of God. Every spirit in you that is obstructing the will of God, I command that spirit to die now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every foul spirit, out in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit now, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. Amen. Leave you now. Amen. Leave you now. Amen. Every seductive spirit, every foul spirit, I command it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get out. Amen. Get out. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Holy Ghost. Amen. If I be the man of God, I Amen. command a fire upon you now. Hey, hey, leave, leave this body. Amen. Fire. Amen. Leave this body now. Amen. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Who are you? Speak. No. Speak. Speak. No. Speak out. No. In the name of Jesus. Command a fire. Fire. No. Speak. Now. Speak now in the name of Jesus. I am the spirit of lust. Marie Lebosi Tarabalusha. Holy Spirit of God, I worship you. You will leave this body now. You will leave this body. Fire. 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 Leave this body now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, it is settled. It's settled. You are healed. You are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It will not come back again. It is settled. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stand up, sister. Yes. God is wonderful. God is marvelous. In the name of Jesus. It's settled in the name of Jesus. The power of God has come to stay. You will see them no more. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus will be settled. God is wonderful. Thank you.
comes to God is never failing. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never failed. He never disappointed. Jesus is Lord. Holy Spirit, you are here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We have to be long. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.